Hey guys, Summer KCCC, and today for Holiday Spectacular, we're taking a look at A Christmas Story, one of the classic Christmas films. This movie was directed by, oh, I look in the back, Bob Clark, and it's based off a novel, In God We Trust, All of Us Pay Cash. That's actually kind of funny. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, the movie stars this boy named Ralphie. And Ralphie is... This movie is actually told in a very interesting way. It's told through Ralphie looking back on his life. Who's constantly narrated by Adam West. If I grew up to be Adam West, I would narrate on my life. Because I'm Adam fucking West. He's Adam West, man. What can you say? So anyway, touches on a few plot points of life, and really touches on the instance of Christmas. The first scene is just him running down the street, all this stuff. He even trying, looking for the mail, getting the little orphan Annie, trying to get the decoder thingy for the little orphan Annie. You remember that, right? The little orphan Annie, yeah. Basically doing all that, and his big gift is a Red Rider carbine action BB gun. Awesome, a Red Rider carbon action BB gun. What I wanted for Christmas too. Not really though. So he goes to all these lanes to convince his parents to get him one. And then the mother pulls out the card of "You'll shoot your eye out." <laughs> and let's face it, he semi shoots his eye out. So he goes through shooting his eye. So he goes through and thinks of more ways. He write it's a theme paper of him getting a Red Rider BB gun. I like, most, like, the best thing ever. Cool. There's also little fantasy segments. And I love the fantasy segments. Because, like, you know how you would daydream back in elementary school? You're like, no reason you would daydream off thinking about something? That's what those are. They're basically him de daydreaming. So he daydreams a lot, too. And later introduced to the school bully, the guy with yellow eyes, who's also a ginger. Creepy combination, don't you think? No offense to any gingers out there, but ginger and yellow eyes is kind of a creepy combination. Anyway, anyway, I'm getting off topic. So, um, yeah, me a school bully. One kid likes school pull while frozen. Famous scene from this movie. And eventually it's Christmas Day. So he goes to Santa, Christmas Eve, and as I want and tells him what he wants for Christmas, but he gets nervous, so Naturally, he falls down and fails. Next day, it's Christmas, and lo and behold, after all the things are open and everything's good, he gets a Red Rider carbon action BB gun. He shoots it off, um, his glasses off, those get broken. Then, dogs eat for turkey, they go to have a Christmas dinner at a Chinese place. And you have a stereotypical scene. Fra ra 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 ra. I'm I'm not gonna do that. I don't know. Yeah, the Chinese people. But it's a fun. It's it's a great movie. It represents the innocence of Christmas, the innocence of childhood Christmas. You want to catch this movie? Buy it for ten bucks at Target right now. Go buy it for ten bucks for Target. Or every year TBS has a has two day special of this movie. It's the only thing there. Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So, yeah. Go see this movie. It's a real great holiday classic. If you don't want to see Love Holidays, why not? Just why not? Anyway, this has been Apple CCC, and I guess I'll see you next time for my next Christmas review. Hopefully tomorrow, because I want to get a good some movies on there before Christmas Eve. Even if they're clickies. I don't care. Bye.